Good evening from Boston Logan International Airport. I just got off at United Airlines A320 from Newark and I'm transferring to Terminal E for quite a rare aircraft. Today I'm flying the Lufthansa A340-600 all the way to Munich. Let's get across the airport and into Terminal E. Here at Logan Airport, terminals B, C, and E are all connected to each other airside, allowing domestic passengers to flawlessly connect to the domestic or international flight. If you're transferring from Terminal A to any other terminals in the airport, international or not, you will need to exit the secure area of Terminal A and re-clear security in whatever terminal you need to get to. Whether or not your bags will transfer from your Terminal A flight to your other connecting flight in any of the other terminals at Boston depends on the airline and the code share or partnership agreements in between those respective airlines. If you're post security in any of the connected terminals, the previously mentioned B, C, and E ones, then you'll have a stress free time getting to your other flight, given you have enough time. The walk from my previous flight in Terminal B to my gate in Terminal E took around 20 minutes at a brisk pace. Of all the terminals at Boston Logan Airport, I was pleased to find that Terminal E, the one meant for international flights, was the most modern, at least in my opinion. There are plenty of shops and restaurants, as well as places to sit with power ports. Here at gate E10 is my ride over to Munich. This Airbus A340-600, registered Delta Alpha India Hotel Victor, was delivered new to Lufthansa in March of 2008, making the aircraft almost exactly 15 years old at the time when I flew on it. Let's get on board to seat 48A. Awaiting me at my seat is a pillow, and standard Lufthansa blanket. On the seat back, there's an IFE screen. Next to it is a USB port and headphone jack. This screen is of the exact same size and type that Austrian Airlines employs on their Boeing 777s, but we'll take a look at the content of the IFE system later on in the flight. Next to the screen is a coat hanger hook, Below this, there's a literature pocket. The tray table features a cup holder and folds out. Below the tray table, there is a personal storage pocket. The legroom on board is quite good, considering my height of 1.8 meters. Besides the USB ports, each seat also features an underseat shared power outlet. These seats are firm, but comfortable. The headrests are adjustable based on seat height and fold. Here's our takeoff from runway 15 right at Boston Logan International Airport. Let's take a look at the IFE system. The system features seat controls. Lufthansa, along with United, features one of the best catalogs of movies, TV shows, and media out there.
The headphones Lufthansa provides are rather mediocre, as they haven't changed in years. They don't fit very well in the ear, and since they're double jacked, you will need to fold one headphone jack down for it to work with a single jack that this IFE system uses, meaning that only one earbud will work. So good luck trying to enjoy the audio of your favorite movie. Lufthansa should take cues from other airlines such as KLM and United and actually provide their economy class passengers with working earbuds in both ears, even if the audio quality is mediocre. Despite the age of this aircraft, Lufthansa actually provides Wi-Fi on board. Granted, the Wi-Fi is very glitchy and only occasionally works. The first part of the dinner service consists of crackers, along with a hot or cold drink of your choice. For the drink, I went for my usual combo of tomato juice with salt and pepper. Half an hour later, and dinner is served. Between a choice of pasta or beef, I go for the pasta. The dish consists of the pasta, quinoa with veggies, butter and crackers, pineapple custard dessert, hot bread roll, and a piece of cheese. Overall, this is a hearty meal. Along with the dish, a hot or cold drink was offered again. This time, I tried something new, tea. Served with meals in all classes are metal utensils. This helps Lufthansa cut down on costs, constantly buying new plastic utensils as well as plastic waste, all of which is a win for the environment and for the airline. After dinner, the flight attendants came around offering a small piece of chocolate along with these water bottles. One very unique feature specific to Lufthansa, more specifically to Lufthansa's A340 600s, is that all of the economy class lavatories are located on a sublevel below the economy class cabin. This leads to the need for a staircase down to the lavatories. While this is not good for accessibility, it is still a pretty cool feature to have nonetheless. After grabbing one last snack from the galley, it's time to get some shut eye. Good morning over Ireland. Comprising breakfast is this cup of fruit and blueberry muffin with wooden spoon and napkin. Gotta give props to Lufthansa for going out of their way to be environmentally friendly. A hot or cold drink was also offered with breakfast. I went for a breakfast combo of tea with, wait, what? An actual slice of lemon in economy class? As we descend into Munich, I can't help but think what a special experience this has been. Flying on an aircraft that is set to be retired in the very near future once Lufthansa receives their brand new 787-9s and the rest of their A350 900s. If you're flying to Europe during winter of 2023 and in spring of 2024 and are looking to fly Lufthansa's A340 600s, make sure to fly through Munich from the American cities of New York, Boston, and Los Angeles, as these are the only North American destinations currently serviced by the A340-600. Since the summer season of 2023 is now over, Lufthansa will now be gradually retiring their A340-600 fleet as their brand new A350-900s with first-class cabins are delivered. This will make Iranian airline Mahan Air, as well as a few commercial and private airlines around the world, the only operators left of this type of aircraft. As of September 2023, there are only 79 examples of the A340-600 left in the world. It is evident that this aircraft's days are slowly coming to an end. Overall, I rate this flight a 9 out of 10. Despite the seats on board feeling rather dated and the earbuds supplied by Lufthansa being subpar, the airline still manages to amaze me with its sustainability on board. This combined with the great cabin crew and food. 
I didn't mind flying on an aircraft with such outdated seats. After all, it is one of the world's last easy to fly on passenger A340-600s. With that being said, I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'm always open to suggestion on how to improve my videos. Have a good day or night wherever you are in the world. Peace.